What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we are checking out another new juice from the Vape Depot. This one called Mischief. Oh, and I got a new microphone, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we're doing a juice review on a new line from the Vape Depot in collaboration with Trevor. The juices we have in front of us, this is a mischief line. We have four out of the six that will be available in a few short weeks at the Vape Depot here in Calgary. The four we have in front of us right now is It Wasn't Me, I Didn't Do It, Holy Flying Flamingo, and I Know a Guy. All right, so what are the flavor profiles on these? I will get that in just a second. I'll also be doing some tasting on camera, let you guys know my thoughts on it. And from there, at the end of this video, I'm going to talk more about the new microphone I got. And let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Is it better quality? Do you notice a difference? Do you not notice a difference? I don't know. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, though. In the meantime, let's get to reviewing some juice. First one up is It Wasn't Me. This is a strawberry raspberry flavor. Straight flavor. The one thing I want to mention about this line is it is absolutely max VG. Minimum 90 VG, 10 flavoring. I'm not even going to say 10 PG because that's just kind of misleading. It's a 90 VG, 10 flavoring plus lineup. One of these, in fact, is a 95.5. 95% VG, 5% flavoring. Again, totally max VG. Let's talk about that in just a second here. First up is It Wasn't Me, and I'll give you my thoughts on that one. All right, guys. First thing that hits you. The flavors in the strawberry raspberry for me just seems to combine a little bit. It's kind of a, a mixture of the two, and then at the very end, you get a little bit more raspberry at the end of it. But at the beginning, it's kind of mostly a mix. You can't really differentiate between the two at the beginning, but at the end, you do get a little bit more raspberry on that last little bit of that throw hit on the exhale kind of thing. Really good juice. Um, absolutely phenomenal flavor. Very nice to put together, and it blends super nicely as well. Having that raspberry and strawberry mix up like that is just genius. I love it. Really great juice, Trevor. Honestly, great idea. Anyways, let's move on to the next one, which is I didn't do it. All right, guys, next one up is grape apple or grapple. We're going to give it a quick taste test, let you guys know my thoughts, how it tastes, does it fit the description, does it taste well, does it mix, does it maybe separate a little bit. We're going to get to all that in just a moment. Instead, in the meantime, I'm going to take a quick hit off this and let you guys know how it tastes. Just a really smooth taste. You get that grape and apple mixing really well together. Again, it doesn't really differentiate. You're not getting more of one, less of the other. It's kind of a really good mix. Very well balanced flavor profile. If you like grapple, because that's pretty much what it is. It's not a grape and apple. It's a grapple. Okay, guys, it mixes very well. Same like the strawberry raspberry. You don't really get hints of something else beginning. Uh, this one's just straight grape and apple the entire way through. It's a combined flavor. It works really nicely. And honestly, Trevor, you did another fantastic job on making this flavor as well. All right, guys, next up is Holy Flying Flamingos. That's right. This is a bubblegum flavor. And honestly, guys, it is spot on. We'll get to a quick vape first, and I'll talk about it after that. All right, this is personally my favorite one of the line. It tastes exactly like bubblegum. As far as what bubblegum it tastes like, it's hard to describe because I don't know if anyone else has had this. I feel like it relates to a specific moment in my childhood, which is why I like it so much. Um, the best way to describe it, and this is just coming from me, so you may not be able to relate to this, but if you ever had those like little small bubblegum things from like the packages, you get like maybe 10 of them, and uh, you get them at like the, the corner store, the convenience store, or the... the um, you know, even the local gas station kind of thing may have them. I used to get them at my cottage. That's where I remember them from the most. There's a little kind of uh, like a trading post out there. It's not literally a trading post. It's more like a general store, I guess. But they used to sell them. They're like the packs of them. They, they're really thin. They come like that. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. Maybe I'll try and find a picture on Google or something and post it in here. But it tastes exactly like it. And honestly, guys, if you remember those gums and you, if you remember the gum and you had it growing up, then you probably remember how the flavor would last for like a minute and it was the best flavor of your life. Then it just tastes like rubber after that. This is that flavor that lasts a minute for, for the entire day, okay? You can vape this all day long. It tastes really good. You get the full flavor of the bubblegum in there. 
and it's just without that nasty rubbery taste afterwards so for me it brings back childhood memories that's why i like to put this particular juice i don't know if anyone else can relate to that if anyone knows what i'm talking about again being in canada there are sometimes things that are available here that aren't available elsewhere but hopefully you guys know what i'm talking about and it's got that really fresh bubblegum flavor to it so spot on brings back childhood memories instantly as soon as i vape it it's amazing just i mean just one of those things where the taste actually brings you back to a place and that's what i love about this juice that's why it's my personal favorite just for that reason but aside from that it is a great tasting juice and this one is also a 95 percent bg five percent flavoring all right so last one up we have i know a guy which is a kalua and cream this is a lot of people's favorites right now that have tried it out it's a very very creamy vape which i love you know i'm all about that creams this one on the other hand is just as good it's a little different it's got that kalua taste to it a little bit as well so it just adds to the creaminess i find it just creates a really good vape but i'll take a hit off it really quick and i'll talk a little bit more about it just super creamy almost like a a very a very subtle caramel taste with that clue almost it just got that really good flavor to it really creamy very savory if you like that savory vape you're gonna love this one for sure and again this is also a 90 10 ratio kind of thing i think it's actually more like a 92 to 8 i believe i could be wrong on that one i'm sure trevor or jay will correct me in the comments below but it's, it's again one of those higher vg type ratios and just incredible flavor on this very smooth very creamy absolutely love it great job again um let me take one more hit and then we'll talk about the microphone i got all right let's talk about the microphone i just got so anyone who knows before it may even look similar to what i had before that's because it's the same brand this is an art brand the one i was using before is this guy right here this is the art d7 this one that i have on right now is the art t4 this is a tube microphone. Why did I upgrade? Do I really need to upgrade? Well, arguably yes and no. Um, the truth is, and this is kind of a sneak preview of my Christmas special I'm gonna be doing, but the truth is I'm gonna be switching up a little bit of stuff going forward as far as how I do recording. Some of the videos I'm gonna be recording as well are gonna be a little bit different. So I wanted a microphone that had multiple capabilities to it. This one, the D7, is a great microphone, I find at least, for just doing recording like this. But I want to do more things where it's more open, more people around me, just more of a collaborative effort. And because of that, I wanted to have something that would be able to capture all sounds around it, as opposed to just from coming from one angle. And because of that, I ended up looking at a couple different microphones. I was actually looking at getting a separate microphone just for kind of group recordings. And I was looking at them, they're around like two to $300 for that kind of microphone, almost like a conference phone, where you can kind of have everybody around the table and you can all speak into it at once. You can hear everybody clearly. This has that same effect, except it's it's got the multi-purpose to it as well. So it does that. It also has this kind of purpose where I'm you know speaking into it directly, and it's also got the interview style purpose where you can have one person on one side and the other person on the other side and speak to it either side, and it'll come out just clean. So that's kind of where I was going with that. It's going to involve a lot of new videos I have coming out in the future, and that's kind of where I where I justify the purchase for it. So basically the reason behind this new microphone purchase is to expand on what kind of videos I'm going to be doing going forward and to allow me to do more than just this kind of video and you know live shows. I want to do a lot more videos involving more people and those will be coming out probably very shortly. Some of them maybe in the new year, but hopefully one or two before then. Uh, outside of that, I mean, that's pretty much what I want to talk about. Again, really like the microphone. Let me know what your thoughts are though. Let me know how it sounds. Let me know how it feels to you guys in the, in the audience right now. This is a tube microphone. Apparently it's supposed to be better. I don't know. All I know for sure is that it was definitely much better at capturing uh, a video I filmed last night that will probably be out in the next couple of days as well. Uh, and, and just one of those things where it worked. So I think I'm going to stick with it. I don't think I'm going to re return this one. It seems to be really good uh, as far as where, for, as far as for the purpose that I bought it for originally. But if it has a good, a good feel to it for this type of video as well, then I'll keep it for all my videos and be able to sell this D7 here and uh, stick with this for all videos going forward. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time YouTube, happy vaping.